Star Wars has managed to reach a new level of cringe that I didn't think possible, as in only a few short years we have gone from Darth Vader killing rebels in a hallway, to a stupid lesbian witch cult that reproduces using the Force. That's fucking stupid. The story of the Acolyte is incredibly boring and predictable, the characters are all unlikable, people's motivations flip on a dime, it destroys more Star Wars continuity, and worst of all, this show is going nowhere fast. We are already halfway through the season and nothing has happened, it's just a giant waste of everyone's time, and even though this cost 180 million for 8 30 minute episodes, it's not even good to look at, it looks like shit. Amanda Stenberg, who plays the asshole twins, is not a good actress. She only has one expression for everything. In fact, almost everyone in the cast looks completely bored and checked out at this point, like they're aware of what they are starring in is complete cat shit. Barely anything happens this episode, besides Smilo Ren showing up and pushing all the Jedi over. And honestly, does anyone even give a shit as to the identity of this person? It's either one of the witches who survived the stone mountain somehow catching fire, or discount Ezra Miller. I don't give a fuck. Why does every Jedi wear white in the temple, except for Sol, who was wearing brown? But later on, we see the same Jedi out on a mission, except this time they are all wearing brown. Why? It doesn't matter anyway, because the story sucks ass. So here's the plot. It begins on a planet where the Jedi Wookiee lives, and we can see him wearing a coat in the middle of a jungle. Why? He's covered in fear, there's no one around, and he's in the middle of a hot jungle. Why the fuck is he wearing clothes? Chewbacca never did, so why does he? We're only five seconds in and there's already a problem. We then cut to Coruscant where we see the only white male in the entire Jedi Order. Not just that, but he's a ginger as well. Fuck me, he's even more rare than a unicorn. Osha then visits Daphne and tells her that she has given up trying to find her sister, who she believes killed her family. Why? Daphne announces what Osha is feeling, because the writing is so shit that the characters have to actually tell you how they feel. You care about me. You mourn the years lost between the two of you. No, she doesn't. In fact, Osha hates me. She killed my family. She destroyed my life. You care about me. What the fuck are you talking about, huh? It's like whoever wrote this episode never watched the ones before. Osha then says that she has come down here to say goodbye to Daphne, but not to Sol, even though he is her master slash father figure. But why? Well, because it would bother him, that's why. However, the real reason why she has come all the way down here is so that Sol can bump right into her after his meeting. But before that, Sol is speaking to other Jedi Masters in a room, and even though this isn't the Jedi Council, it's basically another council. This council has DEI requirements, because there is not a single white male character here besides Kiadi Mundi, and even he is not supposed to be born for another 39 years. Kiadi's inclusion in the story further ruins the Star Wars continuity even more, because when the prequels come around, he says this. The Sith have been extinct for a millennium. You fucking liar. Which no longer makes sense because he met the Sith a hundred years ago. So what they've actually done is turn Kiadi Mundi into a stupid liar. Sol then tells them about May, but the meeting goes exactly as you would expect. It's totally dominated by the green alien bitch played by Leslie Headland's wife. She tells the Jedi not to warn the Jedi Council, because they would then tell the Senate, and that's somehow bad for the Jedi. That doesn't make any sense. So the green bitch who is only here because of nepotism, decides to send diverse Jedi woman number 6008 to apprehend May. But Sol says that he should come along to act as bait in order to draw her out along with Osha. And even though Jedi aren't allowed to be emotionally attached to people, which Sol clearly is, he's just allowed to go on the mission. That's just silly. On the way out, he immediately bumps into Osha, the one person he happens to be looking for, and wants her to come along to find her sister. Sol then straight up lies to her. There is still good in her. What the fuck is he talking about? May tried to kill him in episode 2, and even though she is clearly an evil cunt, the pair of them for some reason want to save May, even though Osha believes that May killed her entire family. I deserve justice. You want revenge. I don't want May to get hurt. I know you don't either. What the fuck are you talking about? But for the rest of the plot to happen, the pair of them just ignore that. And so Osha goes along with the team of Jedi, who are accompanied by a giant squirrel called Basil. 
And it's here where Osha tries to get the little bastard's pronouns correct. Is he or they with us? They then land on the same planet as the Wookiee, and even though the Jedi gave Osha a pistol to use for self-defense, Yord wants to take it away from her. I am concerned for your safety. Afraid I'm going to have to insist that you hand it over. How does leaving May unarmed keep her safe exactly? Yord is just an idiot. An idiot that also happens to speak squirrel. Although most Padawans want to learn Shariwok, I took it upon myself to learn a language a little more nuanced. Ah yes, we all know kids absolutely love to speak random obscure languages which are pointless to learn, because in this galaxy they have translator droids that can do the work for you instead. And also, how lucky is it that Yord happens to speak the same language as the Squirrel, who they need to track down the Wookiee? Oh, how convenient. One of the Jedi must be a pervert, because in order to track down the Wookiee, they need his scent, and they just so happen to have an unwashed piece of clothing for him to use. Why do they have this? Is one of the Jedi secretly a fairy, sniffing the Wookiee's clothes like a filthy degenerate? Anyway, the group then ventures into the forest where they are attacked by a giant woodlouse. But when Sol kills it, May feels bad for the creature, even though it's a giant man-eating insect that is trying to kill her. Daphne goes on to give Osha some fortune cookie bullshit in order to sound smart. We're not defined by what we lose, we're defined by what we survive. What the hell does that even mean? All these characters say empty, vacuous statements in order to try and sound intelligent, but it ends up doing the opposite and shows us just how retarded they actually are, because what they end up saying is absolute bullshit. Meanwhile, as all of this is going on, May and Discount Ezra Miller land on the same planet. Now, it's obvious that Discount Ezra Miller is here to spy on May, which is why he intentionally mentions that Osha is being trained by Sol. It pisses her off. So. He's doing this either because he is the master in disguise testing her, or he is here on his behalf. So the pair of them hike for a while and May is tired. She says that her master's obsession with killing a Jedi without any weapons isn't a test, but a lesson. It's not a test. He calls it the final lesson. But then it turns out it is a test, because if she doesn't kill the Jedi without a weapon, then the master will kill her if she fails. And if I don't do it, he'll kill me. Which, 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 which one is it? If using martial arts isn't a test, then what she's really been doing is wasting all of her time with this stupid kung fu bullshit. And if it is a test, then what is the point in doing all of this martial arts? Because when we see the master, he's using a lightsaber and the force. So this fucking hypocrite doesn't practice what he preaches. Now that's bad enough, but don't worry, it gets even worse, as when Discount Ezra Miller comes back from getting water, May somehow set up a trap in less than a minute and lures him into it. Why? Why would you do that? May then says that she is just going to give up on her revenge mission that she has been training for her whole life. Well, this is her new plan and it's absolutely genius. What I'm going to do is surrender myself to Kelnaka and then turn myself into the Jedi. Ah. May has to be one of the dumbest characters that I've ever seen, as even Discount Ezra Miller points out the obvious flaw with her plan, which is that she will be put in prison if she surrenders, because she has killed two people. But May, the genius, says that she can get away with the double murder because she is going to tell them who her master is. However, there is just one teeny tiny little problem with the plan, and that is May has no idea who her master really is. The Jedi will put you in prison. Not after I tell them who I know. She doesn't know her master's identity. Christ, who wrote this? So May is just going to walk up to the Jedi, tell them nothing, and go to jail for the rest of her life. Not a great plan. However, she ends up getting saved from her own retardation, as when she stumbles across the Wookiee, he has already been killed. Wow, what a waste of a Wookiee Jedi. The first one we've ever had, and they just kill him off screen. The Jedi then turn up and surround the house until Smilo Ren flies in from the sky because the Force makes people fly now. They fly now! They fly now! They fly now! He approaches Osha and the Jedi don't react, not even when he pulls out his lightsaber, which he could have easily killed her with. Instead, what Smilo does next is hilarious. <laughs> 
she then blows away the Jedi, and that's the end of episode 4. That was awful. May's lifelong motivations just change at the drop of a hat. Osha is basically useless. Sol is holding on to an incredibly boring and predictable secret, which is that the Jedi killed the witches, and no one gives a fuck about the identity of the Master. This show is already halfway over, and nothing has happened. Anyway, that was episode 4 of The Acolyte. It's a piece of shit. <laughs>